Dr. Stephen Smith, founder of the Smith Center for Infectious Diseases and Urban Health. Uh, Dr. Jensen, you found legitimate flaws in the CDC's guidelines. Now you're being targeted by your state's health board. Explain briefly. Basically, I'm being told that because I question the Department of Health and the CDC's communications that I've been spreading misinformation. I think this is ludicrous. If you want to know who's spreading misinformation, if the governor comes out and tells Minnesotans they're going to have 74,000 deaths and then later on reduces it to 29,000 deaths, and then later on gives us another statistic that says in mid-July, which is next week, we're going to have 1,000 deaths per day, to me that would be more misinformation than me saying, hey, listen, death certificates are a serious thing and we should be doing it right. Dr. Smith, uh, you've been turned into a pariah of sorts by your own hospital because of your advocacy for and use of, successfully, I might add, hydroxychloroquine. Uh, tell us about it. Well, in the beginning, when I started, I adopted the French uh, regimen, which was 600 milligrams a day, as opposed to the 2400 milligram lower dose that people were using, the CDC, uh, well, actually the FDA, had, I would actually endorsed. I got immediate pushback from the CMO, one of the hospitals we go to, immediate. Like, we'll take it from here, Stephen, after I sent them the article. I said, what? <laughs> it was in Kevin Center, they know it's still in the hospital, working my tail off. And I said, no, you won't touch my patients. And uh, since then, I mean, I don't know why it had to be, I thought I, I didn't know it was creating a controversy. I thought it was just following the data, like I always do. And it was a safe drug, a cheap drug. And I got another argument with the, the CMO of the system. He said, if we give everybody 600 milligrams a day, which is only 6,000, uh, know, 6, and, and, and for, I suppose 2,400 milligrams, we're going to run out of hydroxychloroquine. I said, I don't believe him. He hung up. I mean, that was after I yeah. maybe had the three hours and take care of 50 of his patients. Well, earlier today, yeah, earlier today, Dr. Fauci was asked, if we can control COVID without a vaccine, watch. I think we can get it under control, but keeping it under control is going to be the real problem. This virus, to our dismay, is spectacularly efficient in transmitting from person to person. That makes me skeptical whether we would get permanent, uh, sustained control of this without having a vaccine. Okay, Dr. Jensen, the translation, get ready to be locked down until Biden's elected. I'm sorry, I I hear that and my blood boils. It is a virus, it's Politicizing a virus, it. but most people do fine with it. Could this be with us forever and the uh, vaccines aren't 100% uh, you know, useful anyway in most cases? I would ask Dr. Fauci why in the world he would use the word spectacularly. That sounds like just fear-mongering. And I would ask him, what RNA viruses have we been successful at in terms of creating a vaccine that really does what we want? We know that with our influenza vaccines, we frequently face just terribly mediocre results. And if you look at other coronaviruses, whether you're talking about SARS or MERS, we don't have a great track record. So the fact of the matter is, if a vaccine comes along to help us, that's great. But we're far more realistically leaning into herd immunity. Yeah, the Henry Ford Health System study on hydroxy has come under fire. Uh, not only was the study not randomized, outside experts noting, but patients who received hydroxy were also more likely to get steroids. Dr. Smith, you've read the study. You've uh, treated all these patients successfully. What are your thoughts? Well, it's really hard to sh actually. It's hard to show something works and that doesn't work. And obviously, we've had trial. We've had several trials showing this drug, this drug or drug combination works very well. Our data support that there are many other trials that show that. So when you see efficacy. You really take notice because again, it's harder to prove something works in this situation than to say it, it, it's neutral. It's a lot easier to say it doesn't have an effect. Yeah, yeah. For and, a bunch it's of a, and it's a generic drug, and it doesn't cost four thousand dollars a course like remdesivir. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much. Great to see you. And of wow. course, last bite next.